Growing up in the Philippines, I would help my mom cook Filipino food. Years later, when I became vegan, I learned that Filipino food can also be vegan without losing its soul. I wanted to share this discovery with family, friends, and with you. Kain na! Let's eat! Turon is a popular street food usually enjoyed as snack or dessert. It's usually made of saba bananas, sometimes also with jackfruit, coated in brown sugar, then wrapped in lumpia wrapper, then fried. It has such a nice crunchiness with sweet flavor. You can totally make this at home. It's such a great crowd pleaser for your next get-together, whether your guests are vegans or not. It's one of those naturally, traditionally vegan Filipino food. And I'm confident that you can make this at home. I'll show you how. So just heads up, you can make as many turon as you'd like. But for this recipe, I'm going to be making good enough for 8 to 10 servings. So for the ingredients, we'll need 10 to 12 slices of saba bananas. You may also use plantains. So if you're out in the market shopping for the bananas, then you can just choose about 5 to 6 pieces and peel and cut them into half. At least 1 cup of organic brown sugar. And I like to use organic because some conventional brown sugar are not vegan, especially in the States. So at least with organic, there's no doubt. One package of lumpia wrapper or pastry wrapper. Now, technically, you only need about 10 to 12 pieces, but they come in packages. And you can just check the ingredients label if it's vegan. Here in Manila, luckily, most of them are vegan. And this is optional, but it will be nice. In fact, I think it makes the run even better. It's my favorite part of it. And that is sweet jackfruit. I prefer using fresh, but you're more than welcome to use canned if you cannot find fresh jackfruit where you live. And just for sealing the wrapper, you can use a little bit of water. So just a few tablespoons will do. And for frying some cooking oil. Let's get started. Get a lumpia wrapper and then grab one of the slices of the bananas and two pieces of the sweet jackfruit. Sprinkle with some brown sugar. I'm using a fork here to nicely distribute the brown sugar lower. Then as you notice, I put it lower, just a, a little lower in the bottom here, about one third because it will uh, nicely wrap that way. Then you Pull it up like that, and then the street food style, they just, they don't seal the sides, they just go all the way. Home cooking style, it's up to you. For me, I would like to seal the sides as well. And as you notice, my fingers are the ones doing the, ro the rotating. My hands are just staying on one spot. And I'm going to use some water here, just dabbing a little bit on the ends to tightly seal the turon there and you repeat the process for the rest of those let's get frying turn on the heat and you pour about two inches of oil you can find out if it's ready if you test with a small piece of lumpia wrapper and if it floats and it bubbles like that it's ready want to fry until all sides are golden. Some versions, they want to put some glaze around the turon. So you can do that by sprinkling some brown sugar directly into the oil. Now if the brown sugar floats on top, then you just move the turon around to nicely coat them. Uh, sometimes that may end up to having bitter sugar in the end. So instead of just a nice caramel, especially if you're making a big batch. So you can do that or just drizzle some sweetener later. If you're watching your sugar intake, then you can totally just skip the sugar and use really, really ripe bananas and jack. You can also experiment and have fun with your filling. You don't even have to just stick with bananas and jack. You can use some versions that have ube, some versions that have chocolate. Personally, I like to stick with the old classic combo of jackfruit and 
sides are all golden now. These are ready. You can drain them using a strainer, colander, or a paper towel. Then you just fry the rest that you just rolled. Repeat the process until everything is cooked. For the full recipe and other vegan Filipino recipes, just go on the blog stayvegan.com. I'm also on social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I would love to hear from you. Just use the hashtag stayvegan, and I'd love to follow you back and see what you're up to. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is RG, a stink vegan, letting you know that Filipino food can be vegan, healthy, and delicious without losing its soul. Kainan, let's eat. Thank you.